What is up guys and welcome back. I never thought that I'd be uploading a reaction video to YouTube, but this topic, or this video anyway, I I, I just had to, I had to talk about it. I just I just have to. There's this video that I think was uploaded today and it is blowing up and it is about Mike Long. I think he has an LLC, Mike Long Outdoors. He's been on numerous covers of magazines. I think he's even on billboards in uh, California for catching giant, giant bass. He claims to catch them all in swim baits. He's basically a legend. I mean, he is a legend in the sport of bass fishing, or at least he was until today when he was exposed. Apparently, this guy has been snagging big bedding female bass for years now and somebody actually went out of their way to catch him in the act and had so i mean so much incriminating footage i don't i mean this stuff this isn't even legal to do not only is this just unethical like he's snagging these huge fish for social media likes and then you know pretending to catch them on jigs or or on swim baits, you know, he's putting the swim baits in their mouth afterwards, taking pictures with them for Instagram and stuff, and for magazine covers. I mean, it, it's just, it's absolutely despicable. But not only is it unethical, it's illegal. This is highly illegal. I, I just, I, I, I'm shocked. I am shocked. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description to the video that I'm reacting to, so you guys can check that out. It, it's, I mean, it's obvious that he's just straight up snagging these fish. He's using like a little drop shot weight with like the hook below it, the treble hook. I mean, it's so freaking obvious what he's doing. You can tell he's had a lot of practice snagging these fish. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's just a damn shame. And one of the reasons I felt the need to react to this video is because I actually have edited a video for this guy before. About a year ago, I edited a video for, for a new canoe because we were actually both on the new canoe pro staff you know i was doing all of their marketing videos and one of the short little videos i did was of him and it's really funny because looking back now all the footage he sent me there was no direct cast to catch there was like him casting and then like he had already had it cut up and him like setting the hook and then like fighting the fish and then like it was it was all cut up in the different clips and i had to edit together and make it look like one smooth one smooth uh edit you know fish for my video he might have legitimately caught but now I'm wondering, especially the way he sent me the footage, it was all broken up. Maybe he was snagging them and then putting the swim bait in their mouths later and then refighting them with the swim baits. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't believe anything this guy has done now. But I'll roll some clips to the little video that I did. <laughs> And I think just the fact that I have edited a video for him before, the fact that we were teammates before, is why I feel the need to react to this video. I guess there were rumors for years this guy's been snagging fish, and I have heard them before. I mean, I'm clear over basically on the East Coast, and I've heard this stuff. You know, he's obviously from the West Coast out in California. Other big bass fishermen around there have kind of always heard stories of him snagging these fish. There was never really any like definite proof until now. I mean, I can't even imagine where this guy's career is going to go now. I'm sure he's going to lose pretty much all the sponsors he has right now. Probably going to be banned from a lot of tournaments if he even fishes tournaments anymore. I, I don't think he really does. I just, I'm shocked. I am freaking shocked. And you keep hearing more and more about this stuff happening in the bass world. Whether it's from bass boats, kayaks, like whatever. You keep hearing about more and more people that who cheat who get exposed. So why would you cheat? Why would you claim to be something you're not? Claim to... It, it's just unbelievable. I mean, he's claimed to have caught like over a hundred fish over ten pounds. And you gotta wonder how many of those fish were actually legitimately caught, and how many were snagged. So I mean, that video that uploaded today—it's almost thirty minutes of him just fishing for bedding fish and snagging them. I mean, just—it's it, unbelievable. He didn't even have another rod in the boat, I don't think. And and i don't know i mean i wonder what the fines is for that if he gets caught in the water doing that stuff i know it's illegal here in west virginia i gotta assume it's illegal in california he goes to these crystal clear lakes in california and that's how he's snagging these things just sits on them until he and keeps attempting to snag them because they're not gonna leave the bed until he snags them i'm not even from there i couldn't imagine somebody doing that shit in my water around here if i caught them oh my god it would take a lot for me not to beat their ass like it would be not to mention not only is he snagging these fish while they're bedding like i've bed fished before i don't even I, I hate keeping them out of the water for a long time. You know, you catch a bedding fish, and when I say I fish for bedding fish, I 
they eat the bait. You know what I mean? Like I make sure I'm not snagging them. They're actually eating the baits. And you know, you get a quick picture, throw them back in the water because you don't want them off that bed long. And this guy is snagging these freaking fish, attempting to snag them for 20 minutes till he finally does snag them. So they're already stressed out. He takes them out. And one one of the clips, you know, he's holding the fish. He's getting different angles. He like motors over to a different spot in the lake to make it look like he's caught a different fish he had this fish out of the water for like 15 minutes and then he puts it then he lets it go and it's just like my goodness man so much stress for the fish you know that, that fish may have died and he's doing it repeatedly and he it's just a really bad look really bad look for the sport of bass fishing really bad look for any company that affiliates with him like i said i used to be on the same pro staff with him with new canoe until i left new canoe for other unrelated reasons to this and i mean it's just appalling it's, it's just absolutely appalling but like i said i'm gonna put a link in the description to the original video so you guys can check that out and see for yourself how absolutely ridiculous it is because i don't want to full-on steal their content and upload their video i'll probably put a couple screenshots and stuff up but yeah make sure you check that video out and see for yourself man i mean it's pretty you can't even really argue the fact that he's just blatantly snagging these fish but yeah i mean that's all i have for you guys i wasn't even planning on uploading the day i just threw this video together because i was just appalled by this nonsense and just he built a career of bullshit and lies a true outdoorsman would not be snagging these fish like that for social media likes i'm gonna start working on the uh videos i already have scheduled and get those up for you guys next week and uh yeah i don't know i'm just i'm just pissed off about all this but thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please smash the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you next time